Hello everyone, Steel Manor here. So before we start, I just want to say, 200 people downloaded the previous Lightroom. I did not expect that many people to try it, but I was pretty happy seeing that. Don't know if you liked it or not, because no one said anything, but whatever. As long as you download it, I'm happy. Anyway, on to the tutorial. Let's see, when you want to import the Lightroom to Blender, uh, you first go to File, Append, then you find the location you saved the Lightroom in, and you import three things. Uh, the collection, the node tree, and the world. The naming is pretty obvious, daytime for daytime, nighttime for nighttime, whatever, you know what it is, you can do English. Once you've imported all of those, there are some settings you want to tweak. First off, let's put the sun into the camera view. You need this so you can set up your lens flare. After that, you're going to change your bloom and ambient occlusion settings. Uh, you can experiment these yourself or you can copy my settings. These are my default settings. They work pretty well. I usually tweak them based on, you know, the scene. So nighttime, I'd have it purple. Uh, sunset, I'd have it orange. And daytime, I'd have it like slight blue hue. More white though. Alright, so next is the shadows. Uh, right before you do your final render, you have to make sure you max out your cascade shadow map and enable soft shadows. This just increases the shadow quality, so there's really, really no reason not to do this unless you want to like slightly decrease your render time. But that is like a few seconds, it really won't matter in the long run. I mean, technically it would, but like the quality is more important, uh, in my opinion. So next up is depth of field. Uh, you add in your empty object and move it to where you want your focus to be. And then click on your camera and set the focus object onto this empty. Uh, for the f-stop, sorry, uh, it's a good start to use two, but if you need more blur, uh, you lower this number, and if you need less blur, you increase this number. Simple as that. Okay, now we go to the render passes. Uh, over here, you need to click a bunch of these boxes. Uh, you can just copy what I have. It won't be different unless you're using Cycles. Cycles just has more boxes. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Just They both have the same ticked boxes. So, yeah. Uh, after you've done that, you want to do this. This might be a personal thing, but uh, just go down to the render settings and change your view transform from Filmic to standard. Filmic makes your whites and blacks more gray. And personally, I really don't like it. I, I know I know some people who do use it. Uh, I don't know if they just didn't know you could do that or you actually like that, but I don't like it really. Uh, also, don't forget to set your world. Mine is daytime, so set daytime. All right, so let's hop into compositing and enable our nodes. Uh, Shift A to add in your node tree, search for daytime, nighttime, whatever you chose, and plug in the stuff. Everything above the first mist, uh, input is a input node, so those that's what you plug in, and everything below that is a setting that you can change. Once you've done your inputs, uh, before you connect the output, you want to connect the flare mask node to the composite image. This is so you can choose your flare object. Now, you tab in, so just click on it, press tab. Uh, bottom left, you'll see compositing. There's a bunch of stuff, ignore all of that. All you want is compositing. Click on the plus button, hover over to your sun, and click on the sun. And then you tab out of your node group again, and then connect the output nodes. And once you're done with that, voila, you have successfully imported the Lightroom. So the method is the same for every scene. Uh, the only difference would be, I guess, cycles when you have bloom and ambient occlusion. They're not in the pre-render settings, but I already included that in the node tree, so it's completely fine. But anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed Lightroom. Uh, and if you do use it, like, I guess credit me. It's not because I care about credit or anything. I just want to be able to see who's using Lightroom on YouTube. And I really enjoy it when people use my stuff. So I just want to, like, search up, like, my name and I'll, s I'll see your videos. That'd be pretty nice. But anyway, uh, that's about it. I'll be going back to studying because finals are on the corner. And I'm so scared that I'm going to fail. So I'll be heading out. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Uh, I won't be animating until I get back home. I'll be going on a flight trip on the 30th. So after that, I'll be animating all day. I'm gonna, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, get excited for that. See you guys later.